video training program. The focus this time around is going to be servicing the Whirlpool Duet Dryer. We want to remind you that this is one segment of a two-tape program and so you want to make sure that you're using the correct resource guide as we're going through this particular video training segment. In this particular segment we're going to be using this particular resource guide which focuses not only on the installation but also the servicing and troubleshooting of the Whirlpool Duet Dryer. And what we're going to be doing as we go back and forth between your resource guide, we're going to be going back and forth between that and the machine, showing you how to remove the components and do some troubleshooting and diagnostics. We want to remind you also that you should have something handy to write with so that you can make extra notes when necessary. And you may also want to be able to use some type of a highlighter to follow through as we're going through certain electrical circuits. Now what we're going to do now is get started on our program by taking a look right now at some of the installation considerations in regard to the Whirlpool Duet Dryer. And now what we've done is we've moved around to the back of the dryer so that we can talk about the installation considerations, one of the most important being the electrical connections. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this panel cover right here so that we can talk about that. One quarter inch hex head screw will give us 